Hey guys, welcome back to the dark cave. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is a filler video. This means if you're seeing this, I didn't have content this week. So, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna do gassers today. These are all builds that I built before I planned on other people seeing my builds, except for this one. Y'all seen me build this one, and y'all already know that's getting rebuilt because I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with the paint, not happy with how it sets. Only thing I'm happy with is the interior. The rest of it I'm not happy with, so we gotta rebuild that. So I'm not gonna keep you too long on that in case you haven't seen it. There it is. I'm just I'm not happy with it at all. And if I'm not happy with it, that means I gotta rebuild it. So tried to cut some corners and that's my fault of course I'm on the built the dang I'm fine but the rest of them I'm okay with because I really didn't plan on showing things off well you did see this one I knocked the mirror off of it and if you haven't seen this one you can see the build video or I use that term loosely because it really sucked because it was when I was first starting out No, don't do that. When I was first starting out YouTube and figuring out what I wanted to do and all that good stuff. But uh, if you haven't seen it, well, uh, and yes, I know the paint's bad, but that's okay. Uh, this is uh, an, out of a NASCAR. And it's an altered wheelbase. I altered the wheelbase. You can see it a little bit there. This is my first time trying any kind of body work. You can see it a little bit here. But again, for my first time, it's not that bad. I still haven't done underneath all the way yet. So I had a lot of fun building this and to me that's what it's about some most of it is the fun the only thing I think I'm gonna change is I'm probably gonna pull that off because it did not go as planned and I need to put the mirror back on it it's inside there <laughs> I did that getting it out of the case but this this gave me a lot of confidence when I built it that I could just get that far and make it look decent. The paint, it messed up again, and I was not gonna strip it again. So, because if you'll watch, if you've watched the video, you know I stripped it once, and that's I'm not, I wasn't gonna do it again. So, I'll just put that back over here. All right, let's see what we got here. This was a 2020 build. I, uh, to back whenever you couldn't get anything, and this is when I started getting back into models, it's 2020, and I was like, oh my god, they make an altered wheelbase kit, I'm gonna buy that, and I bought it, and it's not highly detailed, you can see I two-toned the interior, Let's see if I can't get y'all in there, I did a little detail work on there. This is the Mobius kit, uh, 65 Plymouth, I think, and uh, it builds really well. I'm glad this was my first kit back, because if it wasn't, I probably wouldn't have kept building. You can see the glue. <laughs> Urgh. Hey, I had planned on putting spark plug wires in this one. I just never did. It's got a radiator hose, though. I may have to. I don't know. I'm kind of torn if I should tear it apart and do it again. Because if this is a stepping stone in my model building. I don't know. I think I just should buy another kit and 
and do it again is what I think but you can see I detailed some stuff Let's see did it get a drive shaft it did oh my god wheels are a little crooked a little too much glue too much glue Wow I think I need to, I, I want to keep I think I should keep this and we need to do a video of me building another one now that I've grown my skills a little bit and put them side by side oh, I'm sorry I hit y'all that's what I think I ought to do yep I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna try to rebuild that one I think I'm gonna keep that one like it like it is all right let's get on to this 57 I remember right this was another 2020 but I built a lot in 2020 I mean we all know what was going on in 2020 <laughs> so I really wasn't much else to do right um, this is my interpretation of Project X I, I, I didn't look at any reference material or anything like that I just it's what I liked and it's basically a tribute it's not a copy I keep bumping y'all I'm sorry I'm gonna make y'all sick. Oh my god, look at that. So y'all can see. I didn't do any detail work and that bumper's crooked. Got my fingerprint. I just point out all the flaws because I don't know. Maybe because I'm trying to teach myself to learn from it. Oh! I got this one got plug wires. I don't think that's the big block out of this kit, if I remember right. I don't. I, I don't really remember. But uh, I might do some detail work on this one too, like fix that back bumper and paint the tail lights and paint those and you know. I think I fogged the interior black. Yeah, it's just basic black. And I did the gauges a little bit. Yeah. No drive shaft. So. I wonder if it'll fit in the display case with the front end tilted. I have to try that. Oh, yeah. Cars won't fit if I put them there. So we'll just slide it over there. And this one is a what if, what coulda, shoulda would have happened and it never did uh, I didn't have enough parts to build it at the time which I, I do now but again uh, I think this is the first one I ever wired and the belt broke and now I I know where to get uh, the black rubber bands at so I could fix that but a little crooked. I guess the back's crooked too because it said it don't wibble wobble. <laughs> but uh, I had a lot of fun building this too. I think this was still a 2020 build. I got these off of uh, eBay. And the chassis is just the Nova. Oh, I didn't even put that in there. Oh, that's right, because I was gonna, I was gonna wait till I got uh, headers, because it didn't get no headers on it. So I was looking for the right set of headers. But uh, you said it's not the best, but none of them are, and that's okay. <laughs> I'm definitely not rebuilding this one though, because it's basically what I want it to be. It looks good on my shelf. So, let's see here. Oh, one more. One more. And this is the newest out of the lot. And, in my opinion, the best in the lot. Because, again, I've honed my skills since this guy. There's a night and day difference between this guy and this guy. Which is, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get better with every one, right? But, uh... You've seen a slideshow 
video of this. I never did a whole video on it, which, again, that was me starting out on YouTube. I got some speed holes back here. That was my first time trying that. And I built this out of styrene stock. The whole bed cover is custom, which I'm kind of proud of that. Let's see if I can't get it to... There you go. Uh, get in there. That seat, I put a lot of speed holes in it, and I custom built the, the, the thing it's sitting on. <laughs> then I put a roll cage in it. I opened up the door panels. Probably see it better over here. I don't know. It's all right. It goes right back on. I opened up the door panels. Put the slick back on it. I need to quit messing with these things. I keep breaking them. <laughs> but, uh, uh oh, I didn't put a drive shaft in it. Hey, Glenn, <laughs> I'm right there with you, buddy. <laughs> if you ain't seen Glenn's channel, go check out Model Cars with Glenn. <laughs> Good channel. But, uh, this just fell off. So, we'll put it back on. But that blown Hemi. I think that is an AMT Hemi. Not really sure. But we ain't even got a radiator in it. We don't need a radiator. We're only going a quarter mile at a time. Right? But uh, then I got the AMT slicks. So I really enjoyed building this. I need to repaint the headlights. They didn't turn out that good. But, and it's dirty, so as you can see there. I thought about cutting that off, but I'm waiting to find the right moon tank to mount here. So this was technically not done. <laughs> but, that's, like I said, it's kind of an evolution. And I, like I said, a million times, that's what it's supposed to be. You're supposed to get better with anything you do so I hope y'all enjoyed this because I enjoyed showing you and uh, I'll talk at y'all in the next one bye bye